you, what more can you tell us from, from that conversation with Gronk yesterday? Yeah, good morning, Greeny. I think if there were two words that I could sort of drill down on to describe what it was like spending time with Gronk yesterday, they would be decisive and content. You know, we know players can sometimes change their mind in the future, but I didn't get any sense that this would be headed that way with Gronk. And as you would imagine, Greeny, he was having a lot of fun at this event. At one point, they had a contest with the Gronk spike. And of course, we know the Gronk spike, 92 career regular season touchdown receptions for Gronk, usually followed by one of these spikes. And you just look at him and you see the fun he's having, flexing his muscles, letting out a scream. And that was the theme of the day, the idea that he wants to take that energy from football, bring it to the business world. This event was for his brother Chris's company, Ice Shaker, which Gronk says he wants to get more involved with. But this is all about health, Greeny. And when I talk to sources in Tampa Bay, they're actually buying what Gronk is selling here. They believed what Mike Reese in that interview, what Gronk was saying. And, and, and they obviously have had conversations with Gronk, his agent. They know a lot more than, than probably what any of us do. But the sense I was getting from them was, was he's truly done. He's not going to be walking in in camp in August in, in, in you know, the very hot Tampa Bay area. Uh, there is a slight door open, though. There is, and, and that's the thought there in Tampa, that perhaps maybe if the Bucks go on a win streak here, it's a late, uh, you know, December, and th they could use another guy like Gronk, perhaps if he's healthy, he would consider it. But this is all on Gronk, and it looks like he's pretty content after 11 years, two teams, and four rings. Well, and look, if indeed, let, let's live in a world where he really is done. Canty, you made the point earlier this morning, and there's a lot of people that are joining us here. You think that is a substantial loss for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady? No doubt about it, because they don't have a proven wide tight end on their roster. And when I say why, I mean a guy that can line up right next to the offensive tackle and be an instrumental part of the run game. And that's huge for Tom Brady in terms of being able to maintain that balance on the offensive end. And Gronkowski is a matchup nightmare, because if you go with him on the field and 11 personnel looks, your defense is going to try to match up with nickel. You're talking about Gronkowski blocking defensive backs. If you go base, then your defense has to match up with Gronkowski in the passing game. It's tough for defenses to match up when Gronk is on the field, and that gives a huge advantage to Tom Brady. Tampa Bay is losing a competitive edge when they don't have Gronk, but Greeny, I'm still not convinced that this is the last we've heard from Gronk on a football field. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.